Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, Ronnie Mancho's Good Rockin' Tonight. And uh, we had a few requests uh, for Board Mancho's. Thank you for your request. Uh, we want to uh, appease everybody uh, to the best of our ability. And so thank you for that. We got more Mancho's coming up as well. And so uh, let's look at um, Ronnie's Good Rockin' Tonight. And uh, just for those of you who don't know, he found Sammy Hagar. He discovered Sammy Hagar. And Sammy played on his first two albums. And of course, you know, he went on to solo career and uh, Van Halen. So anyway, so let's, we're going to take a look at Good Rockin' Tonight. Now, in Good Rockin' Tonight, uh, what happens here is he rides the bottom string on the B note here, the seventh fret. So, so that's how the song starts like that, okay? And so now, so he starts playing these, these chords like this, but when doing that, if you keep this string like this open, you, it will overpower it. So what he does is he slightly mutes this. And so Roy, if you can get a little shot in here, and you can see how I am just, my, my palm of my hand here, the edge of the palm, is right on the bridge. You can see it's right on the bridge, uh, muting uh, that, 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 that string like this, okay? So then when I play these strings, unmute it, I let them ring out, and, and it's not going to be overpowered. You're going to be able uh, to hear those, uh, uh, the other chord situations better without the E string overpowering it. So let's look at that. So uh, the first one he does now, um, just to let you know, the first chord he hits, uh, I formulate, uh, it's, it's an A5 chord. And what he does is he, he puts a little finger here on the A note, there on the 10th fret, uh, second string, your little finger. And then you, he, the third finger is on the ninth fret, third string. So once again, little finger, second string, 10th fret, third finger, ninth fret, third string, okay? And so when he rides that, when he plays that part, he goes, and then, it, see, he hits it like that. So, so it, the, it's between down strokes, so it's kind of quick. So he goes, that's how the song starts, rides it. Okay, so what the first chord was the one I showed you. The second chord is, is a B5 chord, and he hits the first and second string, with that uh, 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 first finger uh, barring all across uh, the strings like that. So it's... Okay, so let's look at that. When he first starts it off, he writes this for a while, just like this. Here we go. And back to the first chord. And then he, and then he goes up here on the 12th fret. So he uses his little finger here now on the 12th fret to hit like an E5 kind of chord. And then and then back to your uh, first and second string, uh, seventh fret. So basically it goes like this. Here's the chords. Okay, so if we look at that whole thing now, here we go. Excuse me, here we go. That's all he does uh, after that. When he gets into the verse part, he just rides it. So once again, this is muted. That's not. And that's the first part. So what we looked at, we looked at the opening riff as it goes into the verse part. Um, the rest of the song pretty much uses a mixolinian mode and a, a minor or the B uh, rock scale mode as well. So just knowing those two parts gets you into the song and then you can practice along like that. So there you go, the opening riff to Ronnie Montrose's Good Rockin' Tonight. More Montrose coming up, so subscribe. Don't miss a thing.